Hi everyone, we are going to do a reading for you and see what is coming through and before I start actually if you wanted to ever purchase any personal services with me they are always on my website shopmoonlightguidance.com for tarot readings, rituals to manifest different areas of your life, thousands of five star reviews at the bottom of my website for intention items and um, you know they consist of bracelets, necklaces, anklets, pom-poms, tassels, candles, sage bundles, teas, embroidered cards which you can put under your pillow. And there's also services for various areas of your life, um, you know there's tarot readings with me which are personal readings there's also the rituals for love money success marriage commitment healing black magic removal protection ritual and so much more okay so it's all linked down below and let's see what this reading is bringing to you four of wands okay well four of wands is beautiful okay it really represents celebration so there's a major celebration full of joy that is going to come your way i really feel here that there is this beautiful energy of um, a wedding or a family event that will take place and i also feel here that there is real solid sort of foundation and structure that is going to be built in your life which will give you the sense of achievement and it will feel like reward after having a lot of struggle so it's a lot of reward after a very like laborious laborious thing okay where it's just like a laborious task um and that's really really beautiful so that is what we do see here okay a beautiful celebration if you have wanted to get married it will happen if you have wanted to have children it will happen if you have wanted to have your own home it will happen okay um the affirmation for your reading is it will happen comment it down below okay especially if this reading resonates as we go through it please do like the video and also um subscribe as well if you haven't but definitely you know comment down below the affirmation because the seven of pentacles is absolutely stunning okay this is about rewards this is about your investments actually giving more to you which is amazing financially as well um i also see here as well like a lot of passive perseverance where you've worked hard to really build something like i mentioned with the four of wands right like tasks that involve like a lot of work um finally you know coming into fruition like that laborious sort of um task and then having that reward same here with the seven of pentacles there's a sense here of the perseverance that you put in and the the short-term pain bringing you some serious long-term gain and long-term goals really starting to progress and um, things coming into fruition your hard work basically paying off and reflecting um on the results of your work which is amazing so that is really what i see here and here if you're working hard a lot right now and you're thinking to yourself me like i barely even have time for this and this and this your hard work is going to give you the kind of life that you want in the future please don't give up continue with what you are doing whether you are studying or whether you are working or whether you are trying to build something you know because this is going to give you experience it is going to take you in the direction that you want sure what you're doing right now is really difficult very very consuming overwhelming you've got like a lot going on but you will find yourself having so much more success for the future which i think is really important for me to mention to you because you will have a lot of success and things will definitely things will definitely come together for you look at that full okay absolutely your life in the future is going to be so different to how you are living right now you will have more freedom to go to the places that you want to you will have more flexibility you're not always go going to have to constantly worry like oh, no wait a second i have to do that i have to do that i have to figure that out I've got to get this area of my life together first moonlight I've got to do this i've got to do that you will have flexibility where you can choose to do the things that you want to and you will be able to have a lot of freedom okay freedom is the energy that we see here which i think is amazing it's a sense of like a leap of faith right um risks um taking these risks you know with a lot of the work that you're doing right now which basically brings you a lot of um freedoms to sort of do things in your own way go about things in your own way not constantly having to do things according to other people's way which means that you will be in a place of power especially in regards to your work environment you're not always going to have to do what everybody else is doing many of you are going to have your own business okay i'm telling you you're going to be able to be your own boss and that gives you a lot of freedom and if you are not your own boss you will be given a lot of um you'll be given responsibility in your work environment but also a lot of freedom with it as well A little bit longer for this okay um but when it happens you'll be like oh my gosh like this really is the life that i'm living so 
I feel like, <laughs> to be honest, this reading will only make sense like when it actually does happen. But what I'm trying to tell you is even right now, the hard work that you are doing, it can sort of feel like your life is stagnant, like you're waiting for things. But honestly, judgment really does show that what you are working towards and the things that you are trying to do will absolutely give you so much stability and you will see a direct result of this in your life where there is success there is abundance there is happiness like things are absolutely going to come your way there is just no doubt about it there's this rebirth that is coming into your life there is a renewal an awakening an enlightenment um energy here as well and then you will look back and you'll be like thank god i worked so hard thank god i you know i did that because that short-term pain of like working 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 and trying to get yourself together has will give you experience but also your success will only taste sweeter okay because you know that you've worked hard you you will know that you put in those hours you did what you could and that is going to give you a lot of joy and happiness we've spoken a lot about work should we speak also about love let's let's I feel like you're very sensitive, very empathic. I don't mean that in a bad way at all, okay? You're a very loving and kind person and you've come across people who are quite immature, um, people that are not always, let's say, the most mature according to your level and that has frustrated you, it has overwhelmed you, it has made you feel very sad. Some of you are just feeling like your love life is a little bit stagnant, it's not exactly where you want it to be. You're trying to make peace with yourself and you're trying to make peace with what you have in your life right now by also focusing a lot on work. Um, you definitely try to take time for yourself to just sort of relax, unwind uh, and feel as best as you can for yourself. But definitely the hermit is a very, very strong energy, which is you oftentimes just sort of being in your head about things, reflecting inwards, uh, enjoying solitude, but also soul searching, you know, feeling like your life is not exactly where you want it to be. You do want to improve it, obviously. Um, so you're sort of discovering truths about yourself. You're walking away from outside influences. You want to really discover things for yourself. You want to... Um, you want to follow your own light and your own intuition rather than always listening to just what everybody has to say. And that's what we have here with the hanged man, you know, following your own light, um, going through this sort of awakening as you are right now. And I just feel here as well that some of you are really confused about love, but honestly, it's going to work out. <laughs> okay, nine of cups is like a wish a wish actually manifesting in regards to love you will have a very loving kind caring partner we saw marriage for you as well which is why i also wanted to ask about love as well because it's connected to what we saw right at the beginning with the cards and honestly the nine of cups is stunning okay it really represents this sense here of your desires being fulfilled a wish being granted a dream coming true um luck contentment satisfaction abundance and that's huge okay that is huge so if you're worrying about your love life try not to feel like it would never happen you know i mean like just don't if you're worried about your love life just don't I, but i can understand you know it's emotionally invalidating to say like oh just don't worry about it um because obviously you feel like you're not exactly where you want to be in your life so you're allowed to feel like that but also it's gonna come together okay especially oh my god i'm always like just i was gonna go like this but it kind of just slipped my hand um king of pentacles really does show abundance success happiness a life partner who really just gets you okay who respects you loves you and gets you um i watched a podcast the other day and it was priyanka chopra who is a very well-known um actress and she spoke about how she was with this guy and she was you know she's an actress so she's always filming things and at one point she was like on the phone during like the um filming of something that she was filming she spoke about this on a podcast um and she was always just crying you know and her co-stars were like you need to get off the phone with that guy and kind of just you know they they hated this guy that she was with her co-stars because he would always make her cry and then she sort of you know just then met her like after a while she met her husband um, who she's married to right now and she just is you know she is uh, with someone who loves to see her shine she is with someone who doesn't feel like emasculated is that the right word to say um, by her success you know someone who like cheers her on someone who respects her and loves her and you know supports her and, and she just spoke about that and that's the kind of energy that I get like this is not someone who is afraid this is not someone who 
doesn't want to see you shine or gets triggered in their ego when you're doing well. This is not someone who is disrespectful. This is someone who really gets you, understands you. And when I say gets you, you know, you can just be like, mm, I had to give you that analogy so that you could really understand where I was coming from. But you're going to have that stability with a person that actually loves you and cares for you. And also you would feel the same way towards them as well. Okay, so this is your reading. Now the affirmation uh, for this is, I will remember this reading when it happens. <laughs> I don't know, I guess a lot of it is sort of like it will happen, you know, so comment it down below and um, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment down below, check out the description box below as well. I have TikTok and Instagram as well if you want to follow me on there and I'll see you all very soon. Bye!